The Formula One powerboat competes internationally on behalf of the European Rhein-Neckar Metropolitan Region. Only a symbol, but it sets the course, full power ahead, life in motion. Are you a car driver? The Waldorf intersection, the Fernheim junction. There's no avoiding them if you're driving from north to south or from east to west. Traveling by train, Mannheim main station is Germany's second largest mainline junction. Change here for anywhere in Europe. Departures and arrivals are served by the S-Bahn and the Rhein-Neckar Public Transport Association. An airport? In barely more than 30 minutes, you're at the International Rhein-Main Airport. And Mannheim is the convenient hub for regional flights. It's quick and easy. Indeed, for travel connections, we're unrivaled. At the heart of Europe, at the confluence of the Rhine and the Neckar, this region has always been an important location for trade and commerce. And today, 150 haulage and shipping contractors, efficient terminals for the modern transfer of freight, 400,000 containers per year, the port of Mannheim Ludwigshafen is the second largest in Europe. The marshalling yard, number two in Germany. You're familiar with the major companies, the global players, then you can already see the strength of this metropolitan region. Ten of the 100 largest German companies have their headquarters here. 13% of the DAX market capital, the third most important MDAX region in Germany. Almost 50% of production is for export, way above the national average. Mercedes buses, for instance, and HGVs or Unimogs, they all roll off the production lines here. And no wonder, this is where Carl Benz built the first automobile. Today, there'll soon be 1.4 million vehicles registered in a region which has always set wheels and machines in motion. Carl Dreis, the bicycle, Schutter Lanz, the airship, and Heinrich Lanz, the bulldog tractor. Today, still on the old site, John Deere produces state-of-the-tech agricultural machinery in the largest tractor factory outside the USA. The 2.4 million inhabitants are traditionally open-minded, tolerant and international. One of the largest mosques in Germany, practically in sight of one of the most beautiful synagogues. 169 nationalities, a creative melting pot. A lifestyle embracing curiosity, international contacts, factors that have always characterized life in the Palatinate. An ideal culture for science and research in a region which has never ceased to turn out top-rate performers. A remarkable 12 Nobel Prize winners are local heroes, and more will certainly follow. 22 centers of higher education, 72,000 students, 7,000 of them from abroad, figures that speak for themselves. Heidelberg, Germany's oldest university with its world-renowned research facilities, and Mannheim too with its best practice certificates for economics and also for the University of Applied Sciences. Or take Speyer where you'll find the German Institute for Administrative Sciences. Excellent too are the East Asia Institute, the Ludwigshafen School of Economics and the forward-looking campus university of the Heidelberg SRH Group. The Goethe Institute is also among this number. The Max Planck Institute can be found at four addresses here and elsewhere the region abounds in superb facilities. For example, the Institute for German Language, Brockhaus and the Duden Publishing House, then the Election Research Group with its political barometer or the German Cancer Research Center, two university clinics and the Center for European Economic Research, biotechnology, medical technology, life sciences. The excellence of the region is to be found in the closely integrated coordination between science, economics, regional policy and capital investors. European metropolitan regions are the engines of societal, economic, social and cultural development. This region is the living proof of that thesis. As for culture, you all know Heidelberg Castle and the Schwetzingen Festival concerts, or the Monastery of Lorsch with its famous codex, the birth certificate of many German cities, and Hambach Castle, the cradle of our democracy. You know of the Nibelung Festival in Worms and the Emperor's Cathedral in Speyer, a world heritage site on the Rhine and Neckar, lying in a landscape often celebrated in poetry and song between the forests of the Odenwald and the Palatinate, in the gentle climate extending from the Hessen Moor to the South Palatinate, an El Dorado for lovers of good food and fine wine. So no surprise that we host international congresses and also Germany's biggest regional exhibition, 
At the Hockenheim circuit, there's Formula One, the German Touring Car Championship, and even the Rolling Stones in action. And in the new SAP arena, not only top league games of ice hockey and handball. Right next door in 2007, we'll again see the European Show Jumping Championships and thousands of runners starting in the annual MLP Mannheim Rhein-Necker Marathon. To get a sense of the identity of these people, join them when they celebrate. Gregarious at wine festivals, trendy in the big cities, traditional at carnival time, or brand on Christopher Street Day, a region full of vitality with its own unique character and language. Goethe, Schiller and Mozart well knew why they enjoyed being here, and their names are duly honoured by the National Theatre, one of the most important venues in Germany for the performing arts. Today, others journey from far away to be part of a unique music scene. Xavier Naidu and his group Die Zerne Mannheims persuaded the Pop Academy to find a home by the Rhine art, culture and the scene. To this side of the metropolitan region also belong the great museums and art galleries with their international flair. 279 municipalities, one region, three states, one aim. The new Verband Region Rhein-Neckar, the Rhein-Neckar Region Planning Association, defines policy models and strengthens the various regional networks. 150 renowned companies, sponsors and supporters from all corners of public life are actively cooperating in the Rhein-Necker Metropolitan Region Initiative for the Future. This is the kind of dynamism that so impressed Chief Ministers of the States and the Chancellor in 2004 during their historic meetings in Ludwigshafen. Because this region shares a common vision and is well on its way to becoming one of the most attractive and economically vibrant places to live in Europe. And so, on July the 26th, 2005, exactly one year after that first meeting, the Treaty for the Rhein-Neckar Metropolitan Region Cooperation was signed. It represents a milestone on the road to a common future and gives the region significantly greater freedom of action, plus a slimmed-down structure to carry out unified cross-border regional planning and regional development. So welcome to the European Rhein-Neckar Metropolitan Region.